rolls very nicely and uh, seems nicely balanced as well it's not um, overly heavy at the front or back uh, I am gonna add two more casters at the back I'm gonna take that one off make this wider probably out to here on either side and add a caster on either side a swivel caster so uh, there's more support because it does want to tip when there's no weight on it means the gearbox is so heavy it does want to tip to the right side if I'm standing at the back here but other than that, I'm very impressed with how it turned out. And uh, let's see, there's a little bit of deflection on the tube here, but not too much. Nothing that a little bit of bracing can't fix. Okay, so here is the modified back end now. It's uh, much more stable. Now that I've uh, widened it and put the two casters on there, um, I added that bar in, also welded a plate underneath. Just a flat plate to hold everything together. And I bought two uh, heavy duty casters to go in the back there. So it's uh, much more stable now because I want to tip it all. I also uh, put in a battery box there and instead of drill batteries I'm using a general lawn and tractor battery so that's gonna last a lot longer and then when I want to recharge it I'll just throw it on a car battery charger I also added uh, an extra pivot point here or an extra point for the uh, the jack because I noticed that this point was uh, way too close to the pivoting point so it was uh, putting a lot of stress on that little electric motor there so I extended uh, another point out here, and uh, it's a little bit slower lifting it up, but it uh, has a lot more mechanical advantage at that point now. So and, uh, I'm only running this little 12 volt motor here, 80 watts, and that's uh, that bucket there is about 200 pounds, and it lifted that no problem. So, and that was at this pivot point, so now it should be able to lift at least double, which is good. So yeah, final step now is just to disassemble everything and then paint her up, and then she'll be all finished and ready to go.